Today is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, and we observe his birthday as a national holiday now, um, tomorrow on Monday. So, right now, we are headed to the Mid Museum. They have some, you know, events and displays and things going on, so we can check them out for, you know, for Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. So, let's see what we have here. We are in the heart of downtown Charlotte and downtown Charlotte is beautiful. I think it has one of the most beautiful skylines as well. Okay. So yeah, thanks mom for correcting me because I know better. We call downtown uptown here. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's been a while as you can see. I used to live here for nine years and um, so yeah, it's good to be back. Whip up my appetite Don't leave me in line dry I think it's really interesting it's just a black canvas with glitter and I'm gonna read a little bit of what they're saying here it's like by gazing into the sparkling abyss I combine the sublime duality of self-reflection and reflecting mirror onto contemporary society while I honor the sacrifices of historic african-american catalysts such as Emmett Till
Charlotte was right there where the Panther Stadium exactly. is located. And I was born in that hospital. Oh. If you were black and you, your mama went to the hospital, that's where it was. They're that sending way. you, wow. Or anything else, you know. It was uh. hospital for, it was the only hospital for black people. And they had several other hospitals here in the area where black people couldn't go to those hospitals. So that's where we all, my mom and dad had nine kids and eight of us were born in the hospital. And so the, uh, because mm -hmm. Harvey had done so much for the city. See, Harvey had a vision that Charlotte would one day look like this. Mm -hmm. And he had done so much for the city in terms of housing, in terms of education. It wasn't a utopia, but at least it was a step in the right direction right. for some people. Right. While it did have some adverse effects on the African American people who were displaced. Mm -hmm. Because some of the people here, like some of my cousins, moved to Edward. Martin Luther King spoke at my high school graduation because in this very next day in 69, not next day, the next year, they integrated the schools. So when Martin came to speak to all of the high schools in Charlotte, which was the six of them, when he came to speak to all of the schools, the high schools, we had one big commencement, you know, and so they integrated the schools the very next year because my sister that came after me was part of the integration. So people in my family have a tendency to live a long time. And mm -hmm. so there was no reason for me not to come home. Mm -hmm. My grandfather lived to be 104. Wow. My mom lived to be 94. Wow. My dad died at age 82. And he's the, he, he was the young, he's so far, he's the youngest person wow. that has died in our family of the elders. Because mm -hmm. um, everybody else was, you know, 74, not 74, 94, 98, 104. And my, even my grandmother, my grandmother. so I could go ahead and um, put us on the wait list because I called and the waiting list is like 45 minutes long. So I'm gonna get on the list and wait it out. This is where my mother wants to eat today. So she says it's really good. Let's see.
Yeah. So we are headed into the game now, but we stopped by the gift shop first and the concessions in. You gotta have some kind of something to snap on. So so we're getting now and um yeah. Okay, time to order. Next 